Hello! Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to multiply and divide algebraic fractions. So let's start with multiplying algebraic fractions. We multiply our algebraic fractions in the same way as we multiply number fractions. Let's start off with a very simple example. So if we have uh, P over 14 times 6 over P, or oh, let me make that 7. 7 over P. I'm going to use the idea of cancelling down uh, to try and, or, or multiplying the top and bottom numbers. But in this case, clearly, I'm seeing that P can cancel P. So if I use the idea of cancelling down, then this P can cancel this P. And 7 can go into 14 two times. So I would have 1 over 2 left as my answer. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Um, okay, so that was my first example. How about something like this? Um, X minus 3 over 8 times 12 over X minus 3. Again, if I use the idea of cancelling down, then um, X minus 3 can cancel X minus 3. And... Um, 4 can go into 8 2 times and 4 can go into 12 3 times. So I'll be left with 3 halves. Yeah, and that will be my answer. And sometimes it gets a bit more complicated. So let's look at something much more uh, challenging. Uh, question 3 would be uh, 10 over 3x squared times 5x squared over 55. I'm looking for things that may cancel down. I think uh, 5 can go into 10 2 times and 5 can go into 55 11 times. Uh, 3x uh, squared can cancel x squared. Now what's left is 2 times 5 on the top so I'm going to have 2 times 5 which is 10 over 3 times 11 which is 33. Can anything else, uh, can it be simplified any further? Uh, no. So um, that would be the answer in simplified form. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more example. 14x cubed over 10y times 22y squared over 21 x squared okay now having a look at this one uh it looks all over the place but we can start to think about how we can cancel things down i think seven can go into 14 and seven can go into 21 so let's put seven here and how many would we have uh two and seven can go into 21 three times two can go into 10 five times and two can go into 22 11 times uh we got x cubed here and x squared here so if we cancel we will be left with 1x here um let's y here and y squared here which will leave us with y here so on the top we would have 2x times 11y over um, 5 times 3 which is going to give us a uh, 22 x y over 15 and that's the answer dividing algebraic fractions let's have a look at an example 7p over 2 divided by 1 over 3p a fraction is a fraction and whether it doesn't matter whether it's an algebraic fraction or a number fraction we apply the same rules when we divide fractions we usually uh, flip one of the fractions and use the multiplication sign to be able to work out the answer. So if we leave 7p over 2 as it is and take the reciprocal of 3p over of 1 over 3p, then we would have 3p over 1. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anything can cancel down there. We just have to uh, do that multiplication. This is going to give me 21p squared. The 7 times 3 is 21, and P times P is P squared, all over 2. That's the answer. 
let's have a look at another example 21 x squared y over 10 divided by 14 x y over 22 okay if we leave the first fraction as it is and take the reciprocal of the second fraction x squared y over 10 times 22 over 14 x y okay uh, they, there are definitely things that can be cancelled down 2 can go into 10 5 times and 2 can go into 22 11 times um, 7 can go into 14 2 times and 7 can go into 21 3 times we got x here and we got x squared here so we'll be left with 1x here we got y here and y here so y is all gone all cancelled so what do we have left on the top we have 3x times 11 over 5 times 2 this is going to give us 33 x over 10 is anything is there anything we can do about that can we cancel it down further no so i'm going to leave that answer as it is that's it done so that's the first example that's the second example yeah should we do one more one more example okay question three if we have 9x squared over 10y divided by 33x over 14y, then we can leave this fraction as it is and take the reciprocal of the other fraction and use the multiplication sign. Multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction times 14y over 33x. Are there things that can cancel down? I think 3 can go into 9 3 times and 3 can go into 33 11 times. Uh, 2 can go into 14 7 times and 2 can go into 10 5 times. Uh, we got 1x here and x squared here so that will be x left and y is going to cancel y. So what we have left, we have uh, 3x times 7 over 55. This is going to give us... Uh, 21x over 55. Can we simplify that any further? Uh, 5, 3, 7, no. Okay, so that's it. That's the answer. Well done. Okay, time to have some practice. See you soon. Bye.